Hello everyone, Vibrant Inkling here, and we are back for the next installment to this wonderful series. Last time we started off with the dualies in the form of the dapple dualies. This time we're going to be using the basic balance dualies in the form of the splat dualies, which have, well, three kits, technically four, because they do have a hero replica to them. But that means I'll still be using them anyway. So three kits, technically four. As for which kit I like the best out of these three, I really don't know. Um, it'd either probably be the vanilla or the Kensa ones. I don't really like the Emperors that much at all due to Inkjet. And Curling Bomb, I, I guess, could work in tandem with a dodge roll. But I don't really see any real good synergy with them. Okay, Tandem Missiles, you're always going to want special charge up. Uh, let's see. These things are somewhat on the ink hungry side, though not ink hungry enough for me to have want to use something like inks ever main. First bombs don't demand that much. Uh, you know what? Let's go with. Might as well go with this, I guess. If you're gonna be dodging all, rolling all the time, people are probably gonna want to use their sub weapons against you. And to the each kit being very different, which is kind of nice with the dualies. I'll definitely be changing up the abilities as I use them. Oh, but this is going to be one of the longer videos since there's four. I got to do four matches because there's, well, four kits in total. Three kits, one replica. Let's see how we do. And yes, dualies are the only uh, weapon in the game that can do these dodge rolls. Once you do them, your crosshairs will line up into one, making for more accurate fire. But at the cost of some ink. And after dodge rolling, you're Im immobile for a bit, so keep that in mind. You'll be a really easy target to hit. So just be careful with when and where you dodge roll. I recommend dodge rolling. Mainly to just get out of tight situations. Or if you want to dodge roll into someone to give them more accurate fire with the double crosshairs, that could also work. Now the range on these things are just a tad bit longer than that of a splatter shots. Just a wee bit. Hardly noticeable. Let you take into the tra uh, training grounds. Hello. Now that's a good use for dodge rolling right there, just to make it easier to splat somebody, get some safe distance between you and the target. Because the range on these things are pretty, are something to take into consideration. That just one shot me, what the frick? I sense lag. Quit playing at McDonald's. Jeez. Anywho. Get out of here. I'll flush you out with Tenta Missiles. Oh, you thought you were done with Tenta Missiles? Nope, you got another batch coming. Ooh, that's a suction bomb launcher. You know you could use your main weapon while uh, using the launcher, right? But yeah, with dodge rolling, really keep in mind the ink consumption that it has because it'll leave you vulnerable. And with little to no ink left over, I'm surprised I survived that. Probably won't survive this one though. You <laughs> didn't think that worked. But they try though. That's right, just keep filling up my special gauge so I can unleash missiles. These are kind of on the lower damage end. Keyword being kind of. 
It takes four shots to splat, but the fire rate's actually pretty darn good, so. They can be relatively consistent, but if you use the doctrine correctly. And burst bombs just make a really good pairing with this, like, if you dodge roll, but miss, you can just use a burst bomb to finish them off. Or you can pair burst bomb splash damage in tandem with 10 missile splash damage, which is also very effective. So this kit overall, I think, is probably the best of the duelies. Or the splat duelies, rather. They're pretty good. And the hero du duely replicas just look really nice. But anywho's, on to the next kit. The ones that are probably my least favorite, the end parry splat duelies. Trailing bombs and inkjet. Um I guess okay no. With inkjet, yeah. Go ahead and change it up a bit. But everything else can stay the same. Make sure to with dodge roll, you can actually do... Okay, you don't really need drop roller with Inkjet when it comes to duelies because you can dodge roll. But, here's the thing though. If you use dodge roll, you get... You technically get three dodge rolls. Which could be pretty useful, so... I, I'd still recommend it. Pretty much for any Inkjet kit. Despite the fact that you could probably use something a little more useful. Because you can dodge roll by default, but that's just my preference. Then with the Tetras, if you do it, even though they don't have any jet, you could do five. Well, you can super jump and then do the four dodge rolls. Five dodge rolls at once. Pretty busted, yo. Hello. Hello, person. I see you coming. I just toss this over here. It'll go right under your bubbles and... <laughs> Surprise! Shields can be um, pretty effective on this stage, actually. Now, I don't think... Actually, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was a stupid idea. <laughs> I do not like the inkjet special at all. I really don't. It slows you down so, so much and leaves you vulnerable so badly. And the one thing I don't like about duelies, however, is that when you try to jump, you will end up dodge rolling instead. Time for being a cocky little toxic player. <laughs> Lol. Don't let toxic players get to you. Just let them make themselves feel good about themselves because they know they suck and they have to taunt to do make themselves feel better about themselves. But now I'm going the scenic route. Do -do 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 -do. Going on this way. The Inkjet is pretty expensive for what it is, too. Like, it takes a while to build it up. Holy shoot. I just guard this spot. Woohoo! However, if you are firing, you will not be able to do the dodge roll. So keep that in mind. If you want to be able to do the dodge roll, you gotta stop firing the weapon so you can do so. Hello person, I just stay over here as a good distraction. And hopefully my team can get something going. Hello! Hello person! An extra little spot because why not? Would have been better if it was more centered, but eh, what are you gonna do? Uh, 
Oh. Okay, that went relatively well. That went relatively decent, but still my least favorite uh, kit because I just do not like the inkjet at all. Super slow, very inconsistent with performance. Not one of my favorite specials. Okay, but now we're getting into a more interesting kit, which is actually a pretty good one. And with this one, yeah, go ahead and use that special power-up to make that baller as durable as possible. And yeah, you might want to use this because suction bombs are very expensive money because it is. Okay, two more to go. Two down, two to go. Let's do it. Now this kit, it, it's pretty cool. I enjoyed it when it was uh, brand new. I thought it was really effective because... Dang, are we going to get this same s stage each time? I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Okay, but anywho, Sasha Bombs, yeah, very expensive, but they're actually a pretty good pairing with something like the Baller because of the super delayed explosion. And the Baller has a delayed explosion, so pairing them together can actually be pretty effective. Because your opponent will have to wait until the explosion happens if they want any results. Hello! <laughs> I just sent them flying. Wee! Hello. Derp. Oh, it's it's a jab. That's why. Okay, let's go. So yeah, in terms of like which kid is my favorite, I have a hard time deciding between this one and the vanilla one. But yeah, for the dang, they're all cluttered over here. Holy shoot! Oh yeah, MPU. Make yourself feel skilled. Oh yeah, see, MPU abusers lack environmental awareness. Because they rely on MPU to do the work for them. Because they can't do it. <laughs> but I like using splash balls to my advantage. I'm waiting for it. Thought you could do that? No, you couldn't. Now, using a baller into enemy territory is kind of what you would probably should do with a baller. Oh, <laughs> my suction bomb didn't hit the... Wow. It was literally just a centimeter away from hitting that. If it hit that, I probably would have gotten a double. Maybe Nintendo throws stuff like a bunch of little... Like a bunch of people with broken arms. That's why they have it in that game. That's what they do it in the game too. But no. Lol. Anywho. Oh, that's a near oh, that is a wipe. Push forward and destroy them all. Do do that person's lagging, are they? I can No, I think they're just lagging really badly. I don't really recommend using the dodge roll to close in. What I do recommend doing, however, is using it to get a safe distance. That's what I, how I recommend using the dodge roll. And kapuya. One more kit to go. This is going to, going to be the longest uh, episode for the dually section because it's the only dually that has four kits. There's only one more kit that has three, which are the glue guns. Every uh, the other two kits have only two, so the duallys are going to go by relatively quickly. However, the brellas does only have three different versions of each other, and each one, no, the original has four kits. 
And the other two have three, so. Even so. But there's only three in total, so. We're nearly done with the series. Ignore the flea bitten critter. <laughs> Lol. Okay, gonna go back to this setup. Because I think it works relatively well. Are we gonna get Camp Triggerfish for the fourth time? Or are we gonna get the other one for a change? Holy shoot. Dang, these lobbies fill out relatively quickly. That's a rarity. Who is taking their sweet time? Thank you. Alright, last match. Let's go. <laughs> Variety in a Nintendo game? What's that? It doesn't exist. There is no such thing. Alright, last game. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. I mean, I don't mind this stage. It's probably one of my favorites. Someone keeping him pinned down? No problem! I know there's someone over here. <laughs> Suction bomb got him. Good. No one's gonna eat that spot over there? Okay, fine, I'll do a little bit of it. There. Actually, that'd be kind of smart. Actually, let me go ahead and fill my tenor missiles up with this. Fill your tenor missiles up as often as you can with this kit because it really helps a lot. All four! This should help make a small little push. Keyword being should. Hey, buddy! Ouch. <laughs> Not even each other gonna be able to freaking. <laughs> Jeez, this guy's getting bombarded with ten missiles and auto boat or auto bombs, doggy boats. Holy shoot! Let me keep it that way. Okay. I see Nintendo likes to screw you over because when you try to do something cool, they won't allow it because they're uncool. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You're gonna get bombarded. Keep them pinned down good. Now I'm gonna go this way. Actually go up the wall here. Hey, person. Heads up. Here comes bullet point. Do 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 do. Eat it. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, don't dodge roll into the into it. That's a bad idea. Very bad idea. Are you guys struggling to take out a freaking splatter? Junior? There! How hard can it be, guys? Jeez. That's Nintendo's mad drink in a nutshell for you. Trash. Well, we already know this. Anywho, that is going to do it for today's video. Next time, we'll be covering the... Not sure which ones they are. I think it's the squelchers. So that'll be a nice little throwback, I guess. I used to uh, main those things, and they're one of my favorite weapons in the game. I like them a lot, specifically the custom kit. Anyway, I think that's the next one to cover. Either that or the ghoul guts, one of the two. 
Hopefully it's the glue guns because those have three kits. Let's get the big number of kits out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. So next time, I guess we'll find out what which Julie will be doing next. But that's going to do it for today's video. So until next time, love you all. Take care.